Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. It is Friday, February 21st, 2014. Let's get to this week's District 2 playoff picks here in the second round. Well, for Quad 8 girls, we have Walla Pompac, the one seed, taking on Scranton, the five seed. The Lady Knights get the victory over Williamsport in the opener, but I think the Lady Buckhorns have a little bit more to offer. I think Walla Pompac moves to the finals for yet another year. Next game. Great on paper, Wyoming Valley West and Hazleton area should be even better on the court between these two. Paula Pell going against Joe Gavio. I'll take Hazleton area in a squeaker in round number two in the Quad A Girl playoffs. Let's move along to Double A. Montrose and Lakeland, they open things up. The one versus the eight seed. I think the Montrose Lady Meteors have a little too much for Coach Al Smith. Our next game on tap is Mountain View and Holy Cross. Holy Cross comes in as the four, and I think Barry Fitzgerald's team gets it done. Plenty of great guards and some tallies on the inside are a little bit younger. They'll do the job for Holy Cross. Hanover area and GAR, this should be a feisty battle between two teams, but I think Hanover area will move on as the three seed in double A. And then Dunmore and Riverside, two versus seven. Lady Bucks, I think, have a little too much for Coach Ben O'Brien. Let's move along to Triple A on the guys' side. And some good matchups here. The one seed, Abington Heights, takes on Lake Lehman. The Black Knights defeat West Granton on the road. But they have an inevitable task of trying to take on the best team in northeastern Pennsylvania, the Abington Heights Comets. And uh, Lehman's had some talent for Coach Brian Cutter, a good year for them. But I think the road ends as Abington Heights and J.C. Shaw have a little too much. Let's move along. Scranton Prep and Honesdale. This should be a battle. Last time went Scranton Prep's way at Prep. Honesdale has some feisty players, that's for sure. But I think Andrew Kettle's group, just a little too much talent at Scranton Prep for the Honesdale Hornets. They move on. GAR and Dallas. Well, Dallas had the upset against Holy Redeemer in the opening round. They were the sixth seed, but I think the Grenadiers of GAR have a little too much talent. Pittston area and Crestwood. Pittston's got a good, solid team. So does Crestwood. And this one may be a little closer than some people think. Last time Crestwood got the best of them, it might have been by 20 points. Uh, Crestwood's talented, but uh, Pittston area, they're a little bit feisty, have some good athletes. I'll take the Crestwood comments for the ability to move on in AAA. Let's get to the single A playoffs now. MMI and Susquehanna. MMI, they come in as the uh, number one seed. They've had a good year. And, you know, they have some talent. They played some teams tough uh, this year in the Wyoming Valley Conference, that's for sure. And I think uh, the, the single A bracket is MMI's to lose. We'll see what happens. But I'll take MMI in the opening round. Moving along to Forest City and Old Forge. Old Forge comes in as the two seed. You know, they have some talented athletes each and every year for Coach Jared Yonello in his first year as a coach there at Old Forge. I will take the Blue Devils and the pizza capital of the world. Well, that's your picks for tonight, Friday night, February 21st, 2014. We'll have more picks tomorrow. Join us on the Show.com. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.